1942, Russia was really feeling the brunt of the German invasion east, and so at the Tehran conference in 1943, Stalin really pushed hard to open a second front in Europe. Uh, the other allies agreed, partly out of a fear that should Russia continue to be successful in the war and push Germany all the way back to the sea, they would win the war and gain significant political leverage in Europe. Out of this fear was born D-Day, uh, the invasion to uh, land at, at Normandy and, and push into France. An invasion of this magnitude had never really been tried before, and so it was really important to have um, sort of absolute secrecy with the, um, with the plans. It's not possible to convince Germany that um, no attack is going to come. And so the Allies decide to convince Germany that the attack is going to come, but in different spots. So they, they plan on going to Normandy, so they're going to try and convince Germany that the attack is going to come in Norway and in Le Pas de Calais. Um, and so, out of this idea, we see Operation Fortitude. Uh, so, Operation Fortitude is this complex plan of deception and deceit uh, that, that uses a, a lot of different sort of moving parts. So, one of them is uh, the use of double agents. Uh, the, the 20 Committee is this committee in Britain that heads the use of, of British double agents. And, and they were uh, really successful in, in capturing all of the German spies sent to Britain and turning many of them into double agents. By, by the end of the war, uh, every single German spy that had been sent was either arrested or supervised by the committee. And the committee was funded entirely on money sent to what the Germans thought were their own spies, but were actually double agents working for the British. So, like just incredibly successful program uh, that was funded to deceive the Germans on German money. Uh, the other thing the Allies did was they, they used a lot of physical dummies as well. So they had inflatable or wooden tanks, aircraft, soldiers, boats, uh, all manner of things uh, and that they stationed at specific spots to give the, the air of, of forces mustering to attack Europe. So the British Fourth Army was stationed in southern Scotland to give the appearance of a force attacking Norway, and the first U.S. Army Group, or FUSAG, uh, was stationed in uh, southern Britain to give the appearance of a force um, getting ready to attack Calais. So these uh, were, were successful enough that by the, the end of the war, Germany had 13 army divisions stationed in Norway, and when, when the invasion actually came at Normandy, uh, the Germans were so convinced that it was a diversion that they kept their forces in Calais um, until a, a few weeks after, which is, which is just kind of incredible. You, you, the, the Germans saw the invasion and, and, and chose not to move them. Uh, it, it, it was, th this Operation Fortitude was really what was successful about D-Day. D-Day wouldn't have been nearly as successful or as heralded today for being uh, so incredible without Operation Fortitude.